today is the day uh, so the federal reserve is gonna increase the interest rate the report it says that up to 70.75 percent it was supposed to be half a percent but now because of the inflation uh, readings were not great and they, they want to increase the um, interest rate so all right guys good morning everybody Andrew is here from P capital office uh, uh, today is the day uh, so the Federal Reserve is gonna increase the interest rate the report it says that up to 70.75 percent it was supposed to be half a percent but now because of the inflation uh, readings were not great and they they want to increase the um, interest rate so at 2 p.m i think that they released the statement and then at 2 30 uh, jay powell the fed uh, federal reserve chairman is gonna have a chat uh, and answer questions and then it could be volatility over there i think the market has already priced in really the 0.75 percent but uh, what he says about their future plan uh you know can cause uh, volatility so don't get any confirmation bias uh, dr reed had this discussion yesterday with us on youtube uh, so don't get any confirmation bias make sure that uh, you know the risk management is in place and uh, you know you can really become a consistent trader without trading that volatility if uh, it's gonna have you know it would be any volatility so you can stay away from that, those black zone events and I still uh, become a really trader so for today so the market was gapping up I mean the last couple of uh, days were really really brutal these gap downs and significant drop today gapping up and it kind of held the gap up around 1% uh, so um, what I did today I did traded Nvidia and uh, TQQ so I did one minute opening range breakup on Nvidia so you know in the first minute a doji second minute really ripped higher tested the weave up on the minute number three and i went long i wasn't really really uh confident in this trade because i i know the, the nature of choppiness of the, the first two minutes we got some move up up to 163 and then i got out at the break even actually passed a little bit of break even and then uh, qqq had that kind of the same move a little bit more choppy eventually you know broke out at the uh, at, the, at the range at uh uh, broke out on the range uh, on the minute number three with some volume but again it wasn't really really crazy move so i tried to catch that move on tqq first i got to stop out and then uh, you know I, you know i first i went long for one minute opening range break up here it's a very similar to nvda but it came down it came back up i didn't really get out out of it it came down and i got out just dropped and come back and i said oh that, that's a scary so i essentially came out of everything that i had here and i did trade it one more time and then i did it one more uh, time again so three times in total and then i added and i got to stop that so three times uh twice didn't work uh, one time worked uh, kind of okay but i kind of knew that this is absolutely not trustable so at the end i made only 300 dollars on tqq but on nvda uh you know i made a little bit more so uh, not a crazy day but it's pretty good i'm pretty happy with the considering the choppy this that we had in the market um yeah so that's uh, that's it uh, brian i well, how was your day i know uh you shorted ac <coughs> in the pre-market yeah it was uh it was really breaking down um i mean i probably could have taken it earlier if i'd have been up earlier but you know i don't usually get on my um <clears throat> start really looking seriously at stocks um you know till about uh six six fifteen or nine fifteen but uh yeah i just uh i was watching acad it's one of the first things i looked at and then it um it made a lower high in the pre-market it really popped up on some news um then it pulled back then it, it popped up again made a lower high rejected kind of around the view app and as soon as as soon as i saw it losing that uh low that it made on the first pullback i just went short it which was around 2010 um twenty dollars and ten cents and just it it just it really sold off fast so i was able to uh to partial out it uh you know all the way down to uh to 18 ish area so <clears throat> yeah i got a really nice trade even before the market opened <clears throat> i tried to take it short one more time kind of didn't work out and uh the only other trade i did was um was ba uh somebody uh, i know i know the few people were watching ba in the room 
this morning I didn't really have it up as a as something on watch, but I uh, someone mentioned it in the room power power of the community, and I looked at it. It was starting to break out, so I took it long and uh, and just sort of scalped it. Didn't quite get to 29, which was where I was hoping it would get to, but I managed to partial out a few uh, a few shares before I ended up pulling back and stopping me out. So yeah, overall it was a was a okay day. Perfect. Uh, um, awesome. I know Jared, you did a couple of trade on uh, ADU. Um, I don't know. Uh, you, you did a bounce from the previous day close. I remember that you mentioned that Jared in the chat room. If you have a, any screenshot, you can just add. I remember that uh, from the king of levels, the previous day close. Uh, so you guys traded that. I don't know how you found this, but that was a really, really interesting trade. And uh, what else? So the Bitcoin did uh, 21,000. Bitcoin uh, did, uh, <clears throat> yeah, sold all the way to below 20,000, I think, overnight. And, uh, um, yeah, so in, at 5 a.m., it went all the way up to 20,000, but it bounces back. So Bitcoin is really, really weak. Weak uh, Weakness all across the board on everything. Trade tab, uh, so Jared posted that. Yeah, so you went long. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's the trade that uh, Brian uh, in that Jared did. You know, he took the first long here, sold, and then you second time sold all the way here, added here, added here. Oof, great. And then you probably shorted back around here. So now you're covering. Amazing trading, amazing trading, Jared. Very beautiful. Alrighty, so that's uh, pretty much it. So yesterday uh, we had two webinars, Dr. Reed and Brian did uh, a presentation about his uh, trade books. So uh, Brian's presentation is going to be uploaded in the Education Center. Dr. Reed's uh, webinar on how to trade in the bear market is on uh, live on YouTube, so you can watch that. Today we have uh, Psychology Wednesday. Who's what, what do we have today? I don't remember actually what, what's happening today on the Psychology Wednesday. And... Uh, um, Peak Capital Traders, guys, we have the mentorship in 10 minutes in Peak Capital website for the ment mentorship. Today we have Mike for Psychology. So for those of you who are interested joining us, guys, and all the elite annual members, they got a, a free one-to-one uh, -one coaching with Dr. Reed. Uh, if you upgrade your account to one year, so that means that you are committed, you show your commitment, and then Dr. Reed is going to uh, you know, give that one-to-one -one coaching with you. This is the fourth bear market that he has been traded. This is my second, but he had uh, four. He traded in dot com bubble and also financial crisis. Other than that, guys, thank you so much. Uh, and um, yeah, so Brian, anything from you? Yeah. Thanks for the presentation. It was a great presentation yesterday. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, I think it was well received. Got lots of uh, compliments. We uh, just went over how. Uh, you know, a, a couple of different or four different scenarios for stocks gapping up or gapping down on news, and uh, and how the how you can trade them uh, in relation to whether how they're trading to or how they're trading in relation to the view app um, going into the open. So um, yeah, just uh, I think it was uh, I think it was a good uh, webinar. So thank you everybody for uh, joining us last night in our community. Appreciate the support and the, all the questions we got too. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.